hello guys welcome back to another tutorial today i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this beautiful dress if it's something you're interested in or if it's something you like to recreate please keep on watching so i'm going to be using the princess dart for this dress um you can use an ordinary dart if you want to but i would rather use a princess dart so as you can see on my paper i already drew a straight line which is about one inch um this is just like a guideline for my shoulder um slope uh so the first thing i'll be doing right now is to mark my shoulder measurement so i'll divide my shoulder by two my shoulder divided by two will give me eight so my shoulder assistant divided by two will give me eight then i'll come down by one inch for my shoulder slope then for my neck width i'll be using um three inches and um, I'm just going to connect that three inches to my one inch for my shoulder slope. So this is my shoulder. So the next thing I'll be doing right now is to mark my armhole measurement, which is about eight inches. Um, so right now I'm trying to make sure that the eight inches of my shoulder measurement is the same as um, the eight inches downwards. So that's what i'm doing so i'm just going to connect that eight inches for my armhole i'm just going to connect it up like this and um, i'll just draw a straight line like so so the next measurement i'll be taking right now is my armhole curve so i'll divide that eight inches by two to give me four then i'll come out by about half an inch you can use 0 0.75 if you want to but i'm just going to use half an inch and i'm just going to connect that half inch upwards like so then the next thing i'll be doing is to divide my bust measurement by four my bust divided by four is nine inches i'm just going to divide it at my armhole like this then i'm just going to make a curve I'm just going to make a curve for my armhole that's with that um, bust measurement that i divided by four so this is my um, armhole curve so the next thing i'll be doing now is to mark my neck depth i use three inches if you want to go lower than that you can use four or five inches depending on how you want it then um, i'll mark make sure that three inches i mark upwards is the same then i'm just going to connect it like this So right now I'll be making a curve on my neck that my neck that I mean so I'm just going to make a curve like this for the neck So right now I'll be taking my horizontal measurement and the first measurement I'll be taking is my shoulder to my bust point which is about 10 inches so I'm just going to take it all the way like this and the next measurement I'll be taking is my shoulder to my under bust, which is 13 inches. Then the next measurement I'll take is my shoulder to my waist, which is actually 16 inches, but I added 1 inch for allowance, making it 17 inches. So right now, I'm just going to use my ruler to connect those um, dots that I made. So on my bust line, I'll divide my nipple to nipple measurement by 2 and I'll add half an inch to each which will make it 4.5. Then on my under bust line, I'll just simply remove that half an inch and I'll mark 4. Then on my waist line, I'm just going to mark that same 4. So 4.5 on my bust, um, 4 inches on my under bust and 4 inches on my waist line. So I'm just going to use my ruler to connect it like this. So at my under bust, at this side of my under bust, I'm just going to mark two inches. And this two inches is not for everybody. My bust size is a bust size 36. That's why I'm using two inches. For a smaller bust, you can use 1.5 inches or one inch. Then for a bigger bust, you can use 2.5 inches. And I'm going to mark that two inches also on my waistline so i'm just simply going to um make a connection like this i'm just going to rule the straight line of that two inches from my under bust and my waistline so the next thing i'll be doing is um right at my bust line 
I'll come down by one inch. I'm just going to come down by one inch like this. So I'm just trying to get the curb, um, the curb of the bust. So I'm just going to use my curve driller to just make it curve like this from that um one inch that I marked right at my under bust. Sorry, right at my bust. I'm just going to mark it like this. So right now I'll be measuring um my armhole measurements. I will start from um that's my shoulder slope. Um, sorry, my camera didn't capture it. So I'm just going to take the measurement all the way like so. So it gave me about 9 inches. So I'm just going to divide that 9 inches into 2 and it will give me 4.5. So I'm just going to um, mark that 4.5 right on my armhole like so. I'm just going to mark it like this. Please, if you are confused about any part of this video, I have a full video on how to draft a princess that bustier, so you can check it out. So I'm just going to connect that 4.5 I marked. I'm just going to connect it um, to my bust line like so. I'm just going to use my curve ruler to connect it like so. So the next thing I'll be doing is to mark, um, to use 1.5 inches on both sides of this line. So I'm just going to divide that 1.5 inches into 2 and it will give me 0 0.75. So I'm just going to mark that 0 0.75 on both sides of this line like so. So that will make it 1.5 inches on both sides. So right at my bust line, I'll just mark 1 inch upwards like so. So I'll just use my curve driller to connect that one inch that I marked on my bust, uh, right above my bust line. I'll be connecting it to that 0 0.75 that I marked like this. So I'm just simply going to connect it like so. Then I'll also connect it at the other side as well. So this 1.5 inches that I marked on both sides here, I'm just going to extend it outside my armhole like this so it doesn't come out short. Um, I'm just going to extend that 1 inch, 1.5 inches I mean. I'm just going to mark it like this. And um, I'm just going to use my ruler to connect it like this. So that's the 1.5 inches that I marked there. I'm just going to mark it on my armhole also like this. I'm just going to mark it here like this. So it's more like I'm creating a new armhole entirely. So I'm just going to connect that 1.5 inches like this. I'm just going to connect it like this. So I'm just going to extend this um, line so that's when I'm adding my allowance, uh, it won't come out short. So I'm just extending the uh, horizontal lines that I made earlier, that's all. So we're done drafting our princess that bustier and uh, right now we just want to add our allowance and as you know on my armhole I already divided my bust circumference by 4 which is 9 inches and this 1.5 inches that I added is not part of your allowance it's just an extension of the princess that so right now I'll add 1.5 inches for my sewing allowance. Uh, so for my underbust, I'm not going to be um, marking my underbust circumference. I'll just skip to the waist. I'm going to, going to divide my waist measurement by 4, which is 8 inches. I can make any adjustment for my underbust on my material anyways. Then these 2 inches that I, um, we marked here, I'm just going to add it. So please add that 2 inches so it doesn't come out short. Then I'll now add my, um, my allowance, which is 1.5 inches. So I'm just going to use my ruler to make a connection from um, my armhole to my waist. I'm just going to make a connection like this. So we are done drafting the front part of the princess that we still. So right now we're just going to cut it out.
So if you watch closely at this shoulder, I added about half an inch before cutting. So you can add it on your material either ways, but I just decided to add it on my pattern paper. So this is what the front part of our princess that um, looks like. Uh, so right now I'm just going to go ahead to draft the back. So before you start drafting your back pattern, please make sure you add your zip allowance. So for the back, I did the same thing I did at the front. I took my um, shoulder measurement is 8 inches. Then I came down by 1 inch for my shoulder slope. I drew my armhole curve and um, I took um, 3 inches for my neck um, width. Then about 1.5 inches for my neck depth. So I marked my shoulder to my bust point, which is 10 inches. My shoulder to under bust, which is um, 13 inches. And my shoulder to my waist, which is about 17 inches. So it's exactly the same thing I did at the front as I did at the back. So right now, I'll be dividing my nipple to nipple by 2, and I'll add half an inch, which will make it 4.5. So my nipple to nipple is 8 inches, divided by 2 is 4. Adding half an inch will make it 4.5. Then on my underbust, I'll mark 4 inches, and on my waist, I'll mark 4 inches. So literally, I just took out that half an inch I added at my bust line. So that will make it 4 inches. So I'm just going to use my ruler to just connect like so. So at the armhole, I'm just going to measure whatever I have on my armhole. The same thing I did at the front, I'll be doing it at the back. And here I have about 8.75 um, thereabouts. So I'm going to do dividing, dividing but that by 2 and it gave me about 4.25. And I'm just going to mark it like this. So right from that um, 4.25 that I marked, I'm just going to come up by about 1.5 inches. So I'm just going to come up by 1.5 inches from that 4.25 that I marked. And I'm going to be using my ruler to connect. So I'm just going to make a connection like this. So right now, I'm just going to be extending this line by about 1 inch. So I'm going to use my ruler to make a connection like this. So this same 1 inch that I extended at the upper part, I'm just going to add that 1 inch also at this um, armhole part. And I'm going to use my ruler to make a connection like so. So right now I'll be um, marking my measurements and I already divided my bust by 4 and right now I'm just adding in 1.5 inches for my allowance. I'm just trying to extend the lines like I did at the front. So right now I'm going to be dividing my waist also by 4 which will give me 8 inches. So I'm just going to mark it, then I'll add my 1.5 inches for my sewing allowance. So right now I'll use my ruler to just make a connection like this. So I'm just going to add about half an inch for my shoulder allowance, that's for holding it in. Remember I added it at the front part also. You can as well add it on your material when you're cutting, but I'd rather add it on my um, pattern paper as I'm doing that right now. So we are done drafting the back pattern and you can see it's very very simple, way simpler than the front. So right now I'm just going to cut it out. Uh, so this is a back pattern. Uh, this is what it looks like. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and cut on my material. So before drafting on material, I want to um, recut this middle part of the front part of the princess that 
Um, this is because, you know, I didn't fold my paper when I was cutting and um, the cuffed part of this design will actually be, um, would be difficult if I'm cutting it as a single um, part. So that's why I decided to recut the middle part on a fresh paper. You can as well fold your paper into two when you are drafting. Um, so I'm just going to recut it like this. So this is the new um, the new um, part that I cut. So I'm just going to be using this to cut that um, design. So right now I'm going to be using my pencil to trace that curved part of um, this design. I'm just going to be using my pencil to trace it out. So watch closely. I'm just going to make some dotted lines first before um, tracing it. So just take your time to trace it out carefully. So right now I'll be using my curve ruler to just join the dots that I need. Just going to carefully join them like this. So this is the end result and um, right now I'm just going to cut it out. So before drafting the upper part of this dress, um, I'll be drafting the lower part as the skirt part of it and I'll be using this material. As you can see, I already folded the material into two. You can as well go ahead and draft on your pattern paper, but I'll just draft on my material. The first thing I'll be doing is to mark a straight line at the top of the material, which will serve as my waistline. So right now, I'll be marking um, my waist to my hip measurements, which is um, about 9 inches. You can go ahead and use 8 inches if you want to, depending on the measurements of the person. But right here, I'm just going to use 9 inches for myself. So I'll just go ahead and use my ruler to connect that um, with my hip line, I mean. So the next thing I'll be doing is to mark my skirt length and I'm going to be using about 31 inches that is including my sewing allowance. So the actual skirt length is about uh, 29 inches. I added 2 inches for sewing allowance making it 31 inches. So I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and mark that 31 inches um, horizontally like so. So I'll just go ahead and use my ruler to make a connection. So right now, I'll be dividing my waist measurement by 4, which is 8 inches. And I'll be adding 1 inch for my dart and I'll add 1.5 inches for my sewing allowance. Then at the hip, my hip divided by 4 is about 10.25. I'm doing going to mark that and I'll add 1.5 inches for my sewing allowance. So it's only at the waistline you'll be adding extra 1 inch apart from your 1.5 inches for your sewing allowance. And that extra 1 inch you're adding is just for your dart. Please don't forget, if you don't want to add your dart, there's no problem. So I'm just going to be removing 1.5 inches at the hem of my skirt, that's including my allowance. So I'm going to remove um, 1.5 inches. So right now I'm just going to use my ruler to make a connection from my hip line to the hem of the dress. So if you don't know how to draft a skirt, I have a video on how to draft a skirt pattern on my channel. So you can as well check it out. 
So right now I'll be using my hip curl to connect from my waist to my hips. Sorry my camera didn't capture it, but it's just me using my um, hip curl to connect from my waist to my hip, that's all. So I'm done drafting the front of the skirt. I'm just going to use my um, scissors to cut that part out. So remember that I cut on fold and I also made sure I cut on the wrong side of it. So for the back, all I'll be doing is to place my front pattern on um, on a fresh material, and I also um, I'm also placing the material on fold, and um, I'll just cut it out. I remember I left about one point five inches for my zipper allowance. Please don't forget to leave your zipper allowance. So right now I'll go ahead and cut. So now for the upper part of the dress, um, I already left half an inch for allowance, that's for joining um, all the parts that I cut out. Please make sure you leave about half an inch and as you can see, I pinned them down, I pinned the pattern paper down on the material so it doesn't shoot when I'm cutting it out. So make sure you pin it down or use a paper tape to hold it down and please make sure you leave half an inch of allowance so that when you're attaching the sides together, it doesn't come out short. So right now, I'll just carefully cut it out. Please take your time to cut it so that um, you don't make any mistake. So the only part you need to put allowance is that curved part. Remember, we already um, put allowance on uh, pattern paper, all the necessary allowances we needed to put. So it's just that curved part you need to put your half an inch allowance. So after cutting, I'm just going to put this uh, on one side, then I'm just going to go ahead and cut the other sides. So right now, I'll be cutting one side of the princess that um, was still out. Remember that this side, um, there's no need to add any allowance since we already cut it out properly. It's only that middle part of the princess that was still that we need to make um, some adjustment to. When we are cutting on the material this one we've already added all necessary um all necessary um, allowances we want to add so we are just cutting out straight on this so the next part we are going to be cutting out is the other side of that curved part of the design and um, right now i'm just going to use my pin to pin it down properly so that it doesn't shift when i'm cutting it out so right now i'll just use my pin to pin everything down so after pinning it down i'm just going to add about half inch allowance remember the other side also i left about half inch allowance this is for joining it together so this other part also, I'm just going to add about half an inch of allowance to join it together. So right now, I'll go ahead and just cut it out. So this side that will be here, I'll just also cut it out. So I'm just going to be cutting a single piece of it. This one is not going to be on fold at all. So like I cut the orange part, I'll be cutting this pink part also. I remember I'm not adding any allowance to it. So it's time to attach um, our pieces together. And the first thing I'll be doing is to join this part of um, the princess that I'm just going to go ahead and um, pin it down so that I can join it together. 
So after pinning it, I'll just head over to my sewing machine and attach it together. Just follow the same way I pinned it down. I'll go to my sewing machine to attach. So this is what it looks like after attaching it together. Um, all you need to do now is just to make a notch so that um, it can be ironed properly. So I'll just go ahead and make a notch all around. So the next thing I'll be doing right now is to take this part of um, that curved part that we added half an inch. I'm just going to go ahead and um, pin it down. I'll pin it down all the way like so. So you can see what it looks like after pinning and I'll just go to my sewing machine to attach it. So I'm done attaching it and right now I'm just going to make a notch around it. These notches are going to make it easier and make it look flatter when I'm ironing it. So make sure you um, make notches on yours too. So right now I'm going to be attaching the last piece and um, this is for this side also. So I'll just go ahead and also um, use my pin to hold it down. So right after pinning it down, I'll just go ahead and sew it on my machine. I'll also make a notch and I'll iron it properly. So right now, I'm going to go ahead to cut the facing for the neck. I'm not going to be using a lining. You can as well use a lining for yours if you want to. I'm supposed to um, use my overlocker to weave the um, the rough part, but my overlocker is having issues right now. So um, I'll just go ahead and cut the facing for it. So this is the facing for it. So I'll just go to my sewing machine and um, attach it together. So I already cut out um, the back part of my um, princess that including my um, zipper allowance. Please make sure you add your zipper allowance, it's very important. And I already attached it together the same way I attached the front. So right now I'm going to be cutting a facing also for the back of this princess that. So the same way I cut the facing for the front, I'm going to be cutting a facing for the back. So I've gone ahead to turn the facing with um, the neck and this is what it looks like i also notched it and i ironed it i did the same thing for the front and you can see how neat it looks so now for the skirt part of this dress that's the down part of the dress i'm going to be sewing my darts and the first thing i'll be doing is to divide my nipple to nipple measurement into two so my nipple to nipple measurement is eight divided by two is four then i'm going to come down by about six inches from that four that i marked then I'll mark half an inch on both sides for my dart. Then I'll draw a straight line from um, that six inches I marked. I'm going to draw a straight line like this. Then the next thing I'll do is to connect that half an inch I made on both sides. So I'm just going to do that on the other side and I'll do it also at the back of my skirt. So you are literally just taking the dart for your skirt. All you need to do is just do the same thing at the front and at the back. So right now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and attach it together. So this is what it looks like after attaching, uh, after sewing my dart I mean. So I'm, I'm just going to go and iron it properly and that's all. So right now I'm going to join the upper part of this dress to the lower part. I'm just going to go to my sewing machine to join it. But before joining I'm going to use my pin to hold it down very well. 
so that um it does not shift and so that the that at the upper part aligns with the that at the lower part of the dress so right now i'll be doing the same thing for the back of the dress i'll place the upper part of it on the lower part then i'll run a stitch on it so after running a stitch i went ahead to attack the zip of the dress so right now i will be attaching the shoulder of the front and the back together i'll just take it to my sewing machine and attach both of them so after joining the shoulders together i used my pin to hold the front and back part of the dress together so i'm just going to take it to my sewing machine and join both of them together with my body measurements so right now i'm going to be cutting out the sleeve and i already cut it out on my pattern paper the length i used is about 24 inches so you can measure the length of your sleeve before you cut on your pattern paper then i measured my armhole measurements to determine the armhole of my sleeve which is 10 inches but i added 3 inches for um, the puffiness at the at the shoulder of the sleeve then for my wrist circumference my wrist circumference is about eight inches divided by two will give me four inches the extra allowance i left is for the gathered part of the sleeve so right now i'll place my pattern paper on my material to cut it out but before doing that i'll be adding an extra two inches to the sleeve i don't want it to be the exact length of the sleeve so that to give it um some extra puffiness so i'm just going to add two inches to it So after adding that two inches, I'm just going to connect the lines together, then I'll be cutting out. So I'm done cutting, and please remember I cut my sleeve on fold. Please remember I cut it on fold. So right now i'll be cutting the ribbon of the sleeve remember that um ribbon that place that you tied at um, your wrist i'll be cutting it out and i'll be using about um let's say 26 inches for it so it depends on how long you want it to be but for me i'll be using about 26 inches then i'm going to fold that into two like this then i'll be using about three inches for the width including um the allowance so let's say the width is about three inches the allowance would be half an inch so let's just say 2.5 inches for the actual width so plus the allowance will make it three inches so i'll just go ahead and cut it out so after cutting it out i'll fold it into two like this and i'll make a notch at the middle so right now i'll take my sleeve and i'll go to my sewing machine and run a gathered um, stitch on it so that i can um gather it together so i'll just run a gather a loose stitch or a gather stitch on it so right now i'll just go ahead and gather it together up to the um to the length of my wrist so i'll just gather it my wrist is about um, eight inches so i'll gather it all through and i'll check if it's the actual eight inches with my measuring tip so right now i'll be cutting an interfacing for my wrist for the wrist circumference my wrist circumference is eight inches so i'll be marking eight inches on fold and i'll i'll cut it out so right now open the interfacing please this is actually a paper stay i'm using so i'll place that in the middle of my my tie i'll place it on it like this and i'll go to my ironing board to iron it so i'll make sure it's in the middle then i'll iron it properly like this then when i'm also ironing i'm going to fold in about half an inch on on my ribbon so that when i'm sewing on the sleeve i'll be able to sew it properly so i'm folding about half an inch inside then at the edge also i'll be folding about half an inch also so right now i'll close my sleeve and i will leave about three inches towards the end 
So I'll close my stitch. I'll, I mean, I'll close my sleeve all the way. Then I'll leave about three inches. As you can see, I already marked the three inches here. So I'm going to be stopping there. So right now, um, as you can see, the three inches I left, I'm just going to fold it inside a little bit like this. I'll fold it inside with about half an inch and I'll go ahead and run a stitch on it. Please make sure you don't sew on top of that gathered sleeve so that when you want to make any adjustment, it doesn't become difficult. So you can see what it looks like. So right now, I'll make sure that the 8 inches is still intact so that um, if it, in case it shifts, I can make any adjustment to it. So I'm going to be placing my sleeve inside the ribbon or the tie. I will place it inside like this. I mean, I'll place it in the middle like this. And before doing that, I'm just going to make a notch to make sure that it's the middle of the sleeve I am sewing. So right now, I'll be placing that place I notched, which is the midpoint. I'll be placing it right on top of, uh, in the middle of the tie like this. So I'm just going to use my pin to hold it down. So I'm just going to do that all the way. I'll use my pin to hold it down. So once I'm done holding it down with my pin, I'll go to my sewing machine and run a stitch. Please, when you are doing that, take your time to do it so that it comes out really neat. As you can see, this is how mine looks. It is very neat. So if you want your rope to be longer than this, you can make it longer than my own. So right now, I'll be attaching my sleeve to my dress. I'm just going to go to the midpoint. And you know, we already took the measurement of um, the sleeve and the dress and they are equal. So I'll just use my pin to hold it down all the way. Then after doing that, I will take it to my sewing machine and sew it. So for the puffiness of the sleeve, remember I left extra 3 inches for it. So I'm just going to use my hand to gather it. Then I'll use my pin to hold it down like I'm doing. So that when I'm running um, my machine on it, it doesn't become difficult for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my pin to hold it down. Then I'll run a stitch on it. So I'm done um, attaching the sleeve and I've closed um, the slit of my dress. All I need to do is just iron it and use um, a gum stay to um, hold that part together. And you can see how neat and beautiful it looks. Um, all, in, all we need to do is just to iron the dress together. And this is the end of this tutorial. Please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.